Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest in the right on the background, and that's Jalen Price stood virtually right behind us. And we're back with some more Starfield, and last time we came here to Madame Savage's to confront our starship thief. So let's get into it. Alright. This lady here, yes. Oh, Grace Early. A free star ranger. Yep. His what are you? A sidekick or something? Excuse me. I'm not a sidekick. I am not a sidekick. I'm free star deputy ra ranger deputy Eddie. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, Ugh. this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Yeah, it's not my first interrogation either. In fact, I had one right here. Wow. Good for you. If that was supposed to impress me, it didn't. No, no, no. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Um, hmm. You jacked a ship from Hope Tech. Don't bother denying it. So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract. I was hired to get it for some men. Don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. Well, hmm. Yeah. You provided the means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten an innocent person. Look. They didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Hmm. Well. <sighs> yeah. Enough small talk. Tell me what you know. It, it's not that simple. But it is. It's, it is exactly that simple. It would make sense to just go along with what I want. You're starting to make a lot of sense. Oh, I know. I'm sure we can work something out. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Well, hmm. If I find out you lied, I will hunt you down. No way I cheat a free star ranger. I ain't that stupid. Oh! I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. No. Oh. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Hmm. Did she say why they needed the Hope Tech ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. Um. Did she say where she was going to be treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Well, why would you agree to such a risky job? <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money, reputation, the thrill of it. All good reasons. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Oh. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Mm. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Hmm. Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Did he ever give you his location, this Marco? Not so much as a hint. Ugh. 
I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankrolling the first must take a lot of money. Mm. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Probably. What do you know about the men that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Then I think we're done here. Works for me. Next time you're at the rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. Oh. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Oh, well, thanks. Then I'm free to go. Um. Yes, but if you so much as look at another ship, well, it'll be a little different. Hey, you don't need to tell me twice. Good. So what is All right. an executive now at Ryujin? I am. Is that so cool? It is. Making deals by day, hunting monsters at night. What a life. Indeed. Uh, all right. Let's go. Take it easy. Yes, well, can I come out, please? Thank you. So, Alex. Alex, 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 Alex. Yes. Didn't... Hmm. No, we need to. We needed to wait twenty-four hours, I think, didn't we, for um, any info about the Ashta and this sensor thing? So we can have a look into that while we're here as well. Who are you? You look. You look a little casual. What's going on here? There's no one the oh, Tracker's Alliance, Alliance can't find. All right, dude. He just looks a little chill there, like he was kind of, you heard of the swagging it up. Alright. Elios? What? I don't know why I'd need to go to Elios, but whatever. Yeah, she's proving to be a little bit of a pain Not in the derriere right now. Um, where is this person? What? Over here? No. Down Welcome here? to the rock, I guess. Yeah. Hey, deputy. Yes, that's me. Can I help you? The suspect is guilty. You'll see. Oh. Be safe out there. Silent child. Good lord. All right. Sir, so, we need to go up the stairs. If you're looking for the rangers, check the upper level. Aha! Here he is. Good to see you. Hello. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Oh, hello, Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? Yep. I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Um... It's my kind of place. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Well, hmm. Ranger Price says you can crack this encrypted slate. Did he now? Yep. Well, in that case, challenge accepted. All right. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. All now, right. if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You have no life. Yeah, you don't get out much, do you? Oh, why should I? Nothing but dirt, cold air, and ash are waiting for me out there. You could go somewhere I else. I like my nice, cozy, antisocial office space much more, thanks. I mean, okay, well, that's fair enough, you know. That's, that's, that's fine. Have fun with it. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. You do you, bro. You do you. If you like being here in this little office space... I mean, oh, I have seen nicer offices, dude. But yeah, you do you. Do you, boo boo? If that's uh, how you feel, how you want to live your life, that's fine. I won't yuck anybody's yum. Oh, hello. Gunslinger's Guide 01. Permanently reload and draw Laredo weapons an additional 5% faster. I mean, I don't 
use Laredo weapons, but that's fine. Oh, all right, Blake, what is it? I need Can a I? Word. Ooh. Recruitment and retirement. Can I read this? Marshal, it is the opinion of the council that you need to prioritise recruiting. I'll say it plain, we need more rangers. Your report on the rise in smuggling makes that plain. Now, I don't mean to disparage the work you and your rangers have done. I know you're all doing your best, but I can remember a time where there were twice as many of you as there are today. I'd like to see those days return, and so would the people of the Freestar Collective. I'd also like you to think about your successor. Let's be honest, Marshal, neither of us is getting any younger. Surely you've earned the right to hang up your spurs with pride and enjoy a well-earned retirement. I look forward to seeing you at the next council gathering. Walter! Okay, um, alright. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that <clears throat> ship from Hope Tech? Well, yes. Um, hmm. I was able to uh, track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Um, well... Thank me when I've taken down the first. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. <clears throat> That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well, hmm... The first has a money man called Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. All right. I who? served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. Okay. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Eh... Uh... Who else? Well, what else can you tell me about Maya Cruz? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. Oh. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Um, you think you know who Marco is? Who is he? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the first Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Wouldn't surprise me. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. Mm. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. Hmm. Well... Clock's ticking. Let's talk about what's next. All right. How can I help? Hmm. Where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. All right. Uh, Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. No. Oh. Based on what you've learned, I would presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. It's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Indeed. They'll like me. As soon as they see me, they'll go, My God, the tank boy. So beautiful. All right, let's go. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's, um... 
Should we go to the clinic first, you suppose, maybe? That might be a wise option. Go to the clinic. Can we go out this way? Ah, this was what we wanted to look in on. Before we leave Aquila. So... Uh, oh, well, there she is. Look at that. How serendipitous. We need to be smarter. Better in the way we handle the Ashta. All right. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? No getting in it. Um, Staying out of it? No, I go looking for it. Well, whatever gets you through the day. I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Fair enough. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The ice has thawed a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Well, that's good, I suppose. Um, I'm glad the two of you are getting along. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. Oh dear, why? In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. Um... I mean, he, he may, yeah, he might just be doing his job. No, he's not. He's out there at least four and a half times as frequently. Oh, There's wow. There's something else going on. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Is my name Dr. Phil? I mean, I know I've got the bald head underneath this fantastic hat, but still. <sighs> All such a drama. All such a drama. Come on, Lemon Pest, let's go and have a word with this fool, and then we can leave. There he is. Whoa! Okay. Oof. All right, Davis. I believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Now, now. <sighs> Davis, I'm hurt. You cut me deep. You cut me real deep just now. Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? Well, hmm. We're worried about how much time you're outside the walls. I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. <sighs> you know, if you need help, you can just ask. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Mm -hmm. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. That is true. There were some, there were some huge footprints out there. Um, hmm. You think there's some other creature out there? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Okay. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. Okay. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And, uh,. Maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. My biggest gun never leaves my possession. I'm getting out. Let's get out. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. Mm -hmm. She's a clever kid. Yeah. She's got a lot of things figured out. Mm -hmm. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. 
She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. Seems to me that it might not be. Maybe Bigger, this would be better. Faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. Alright. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And uh no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Let's head this way. I can't decide what I want to use. Well we'll give this a go. That's on um I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kila. I had totally forgotten them. I can't remember what the difference is between these two. Let me just have a look. So we've got Avatar and Ah, and the other one is the Disassembler Modified Calibrated Mag Sniper. All right, well, we'll stick with Avatar for now. I did it recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Ooh. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, awesome. certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, Ashton. botany yeah. stuff, whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen a ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and he stroke. No. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have Help come out here long time ago. And what? 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 No matter what happens. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What is it? Where is it? Where is it? You hear me? What? Okay. Oh my! Jesus! Look at that! My God! All right, all right, all right. Bloody hell! Can we scan it? Can we? No. Oh. Ugh! Good God! Well, all right. Wow. Okay. Savannah Sweetbush. You didn't have proof. Nobody will believe us about the Alpha. Okay. Lemon pest. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were going to make it through that. Really? You hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. Well, um, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? I don't know. We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't going to be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is going to need everybody. So, I'm going to swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Um, hmm. I don't want to leave you out here. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. Hmm. Look at this thing. Alpha Ashta. So there's like big ones here. That's another Ashta. Can I scan that? It's too far away. Never mind. Never mind. Lemon Pest. We need to go and speak to Keone. What the hell? And um, tell her the good news. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just scanning you. Checking you out. Making sure you're all good. Is Davis all right here? Is he okay? Davis? Davis? Oh, jeez. Be careful, man. No, I think he's fine. I think he's all right. Come on, mate. Oh, weird things. Weird. Don't worry about us. All right, where's Keone? Mr. Tate. He's a realtor. I've 
trying to organize something for the folk at stretch. He's a good man. All right, Mr. Tate. Talk to Mr. Tate. I have a feeling that Mr. Don't Tate worry. will want some money or a favour. And I mean, I'm not averse to that. I'll help anybody, but you know. Here we go. Well, good news and they bad news. Be more careful. The data shows the Ashta are more active. Well, yeah, and the big. So, what happened? Well, hmm. Your data wasn't a mistake. It helped us find a new kind of Ashta. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't trust it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Don't be smug about it. Um. Hmm. Better not let it go to your head. Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. Good. I need to get to work on this immediately. But... While I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. All right. I thought it was funny. Uh, now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. Okay. What if she get a despondent assassin? Well, all right. Um... Despondent. You can now build the mounted Ashta at your outposts? As in like a stuffed Ashta? I mean, I don't know whether we, we want... Oh, well, a taxidermid Ashta. Um, despondent Assassin. Legendary Rifle. Demoralising. Small chance to demoralise a target. Hitman plus 15% damage while aiming. Anti-personnel plus 10% damage against humans. Small mag. High powered. Well, I will not complain because I can appreciate a um, a weapon gifted to me rather than taken from somebody else's um, things. Hello, it's only me. I'm here looking for Ben. Ben, here we go. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah. Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? I am. You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Uh, well, yeah. Then you know I'm tracking down the members of the first. And having some success, by the sound of it. Mm -hmm. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, hey, Ben. Well, I... I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? I think so. Yeah, might be. She needed surgery, but I'm not sure why. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. Oh. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Okay. Now, just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need mm. to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Garvey. Well, that's all right. It's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. And I ain't fond of them right back. Oh. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can this have a conversation a with. Cry from well, Kila City. hey there, Ari. That's working sure. hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? <clears throat> well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. Dr. Cartwright in Kila City said I was crazy well, I'll leave when you I told and Mr. her I Miller's wanted to transfer capable here. Hands. 
Well, well, I don't else? understand I'll be in my why. Office. All right, dude. Thanks. Um. All right, Ari. Uh, Ari. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Oh. Um. It's definitely not a coincidence. I'll take your word for it. So, who's the suspect you're after? Um. Hmm. Her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Um, hmm. No, not really. I only know it required a long hospital stay and sounded pretty urgent. That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. All right. Lead the way. Lead the way, sir. Irresistible. Hello. Every new alien pathogen we discover is just a little more job security. Got to look on the bright side, right? Okay. I wouldn't say the bright side. That's the sunny side. Good lord. That's on the sun. Jeez. Maya Cruz. Sun pendulum. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for Amaya Cruz. Great. Hmm. Well? If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Okay. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. True. Um, hmm. There must be someone who fits the description, at least partially. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Okay. Um, if I can find the source of your computer issues, that might lead me to Maya. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Thank you. Okay, let's have a little sniff round. Here we go. Uh, admin access. Admin mode. Please select a task. Active processes. Disruptor. Well, that's answered that question. Query the disruptor. Uh, it's recommended that this process is disabled immediately. Location mainframe slash applications. Installed by Riviera Catalina P. Patient VIP section. Really? Okay. Hmm. Security incident reports. Dr. Cassidy claimed that a patient in the VIP wing became confrontational and threatened violence when he tried to administer a medication. I spoke to the patient, Catalina Rivera, and calmed her down. She agreed to take the medication. Nurse Armistead filled a report that... Oh. Nurse Armistead filed a report so that a patient in the VIP was found in an off-limits area. The patient identified as Catalina Rivera was found to be inside a CERV shuttle and was asked to return to her room. The patient cooperated and apologised, explaining she had become lost. Mm. Patient filed a complaint and insisted on speaking to security about a lack of personalised attention and to inform us that her symptoms were not being taken seriously enough. I informed the patient that this was a medical matter and not a security issue. The patient said she was aware of that but did not feel the medical staff were listening to her concerns and had nowhere left to turn. I spent an hour listening to the patient, which seemed to calm her down. Candice Doolan. Okay. Okay. Did you hear about the bank heist in Aquila City? I just read about it on the news slate. I hope nobody we know was hurt or killed. Sounds like the Shaw gang were behind it. No surprise there. I sure don't miss living on Aquila. I'll never take the peace and quiet of the clinic for granted again. There you go. Titus Cassidy. 
To all staff, we've had a few recent incidents of personnel entering the VIP wing without authorization. Please respect the privacy of our VIP guests and do not enter the VIP wing without express authorization. No matter what. See me if you have any questions. Yes. Ari. The last courier ship from Aquila brought a slate for you. You were out of the office, so I left it on your desk. Rebecca. Don't forget to put in that vacation request. It's been too long since we had a break. Can't wait until we have some quiet time at the cabin on Montara, Luna. I'm going to fish all day and then at night. UL, you'll see. Love you. Okay, so, okay. Do you hmm. need anything? Your clothes cleaned, your boots polished, your mirror shined. Um, could you grab me a coffee? No. Disappointing, disappointing. All right, so what's the script? We have to get into the VIP wing. Hmm. Well, it can be done. Where is the VIP wing? That's the secure we get wing. The cases no one has ever seen before or doesn't know how to treat. Hmm. Pardon? What? I didn't do anything. Okay. Gotta hand it to these doctors. They put in a lot of hours. Well, yeah, the doctors. Doctors tend to work long hours. I, th I think it kind of comes with the territory. You know, you have to work the long hours. I'm just a nurse. You know. If you need to talk to someone in charge, wrong guy. <laughs> Fair enough. Staff area. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Look at that. I oh. don't mean to be rude, but unless this is a medical emergency, please get someone else to help you. Well, it, it is. Hello? Yes. What do you want? Um, hmm. It's a good bet you've got a fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. I need access. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? Um, hmm. I require your cooperation with an investigation. And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Interesting. I give you my word as a fellow medical professional that I'll be very discreet. Oh. I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. The doctor is in. Who knew that being so good with medical things would grant me such... such, um... Unfettered access. Can I not eat that? I'm hungry. Hungry lemon pest. We haven't eaten properly in weeks. Is there anything in here? Folders. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Break room. We've just. What? Oh. I've never seen armor like that. Different break room. Just don't give us any reason to test it. You understand? Really? You've never seen somebody dress like this? I'm telling you, they're just addicted to me. Too, too marvellous. Any more snacks? I'm, I'm kind of snacky. Bit of toast. Oh, I'll eat the toast. Okay. Well, I suppose we'd uh, we'd better get a shake, shimmy on, even. Tea, bag of beans, booze. Good God, Get food in here. Ooh. Eat the celery. Okay. Grapes. Hey. Zeno worst. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> what? It's a little weird, but okay. Aha, what have we here? Well, and we're in. Ah. Oh, and another VIP card. But we're all right because we have one. I was able to convince him that I'm a good bet. All right, so we need to go in here now. Nobody needs Howdy. to know. Hello. All right. There we are. We're in. We're in. Hmm. Well, that's that's definitely not good, is it? Okay. There we go. Well, I mean, all right. Not brilliant, but do you know what? Might as well help ourselves to the goods. Ooh, ooh, Varun Scripture permanently increases sneak bonus by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, so fun. Good grief. Pill bottles. I don't need pill bottles. And I'll see pens near. Okay. Well... this? Ugh. Stinky. Something flammable, I'm guessing. Thank you. Anything in here? No? Really? Good God. Okay. You know when you just think, I could have done without that. Guessing that was a trap from our good friend and colleague. Have a look at that modified terminal in a moment. Is that the wire spool? Huh. Okay. Have a good look round. Docking port. Check there's no more mines in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Pill bottles. Okay. Oh, lemon pest. I don't know, mate. Definitely not good, is it? Trauma pack. Oh, well. Latkes and Zeno Worst. Ow. Fridge door to the face. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Uh, Alright, well, let's have a look in this terminal. Here we go. Command override mode. Okay, so disable the program. Ha ha! Patient terminal. Here we go. VIP amenities. We're here to serve you as a VIP guest. You'll enjoy the very best hospitality we have to offer. Spacious private chambers, fine cuisine, and the highest quality of personalised service await you here at the clinic. Your satisfaction is our highest priority, and you can rest assured that we'll work hard to make your stay a comfortable and pleasant one. Your privacy is our priority. Here at the clinic's exclusive VIP wing, you'll enjoy the highest level of privacy and security that we offer. 
Access is limited to a select group of professional and courteous clinic staff who are here to serve you. No information, including your presence here, will be shared with anyone beyond our attending physician and support staff. In addition, your medical records will be kept in our most secure database with a maximum level of protection from outside intrusion. A stress-free recovery. Here at the clinic, the brightest minds in medicine and the most sophisticated technology and research combine to ensure that you receive the best care anywhere. The promise of a stress-free recovery is our commitment to you, our valued guest. Whatever you're here for, there's simply no better place to be. Hmm. Terminal access logs. Here we go. Um, T. Cassidy staff. Treatment continues but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious, anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. Maybe. C. Rivier, Rivera, guest. Ah, here we go. Authorization code. Yeah, access granted. Dispatch ready. Flight readiness. Ah, yes, so she... Set navigation. Sakharov. Is that where she's going? Sakharov. Hmm. Well, Lemon Pest. Ah, urgent. Read immediately. Encryption sequence complete. Maya, the rangers are on to us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine in Sakhar at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you haven't much... I know you don't have much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it through, and if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I am eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It has been an honour, Major Hull. Well, there you have it, Lemon Pest. There you have it. Sakharov is our next port of call. Hmm... Should I tell somebody what's going on in there, or they'll figure it out? They'll figure I'm it out. Probably fine. Oh, home again, home again in the ship. Yes, indeed. Now, before before we wind up for today, my desk is built. I finally did it. Granted, I've no bloody chair or anything else, but I did it at last. And I am quite pleased with it. I thought it might be potentially too big, but it doesn't actually look too bad here, I don't think. A nice desk. What do you think, Lemon Pest? He thinks nothing. There's nothing but sawdust and fluff in that brain, isn't there? Well, in that head, even. All right, well, there you go. Oh, the stars await. But we are going to leave it there for today. Next time we'll go to Sakharov and find uh, Maya and confront her. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. Bye.